Morning, guys. August 10th, 2020. Just going to do a little vlog. It's been a while since I've done one. And uh, what's going on with me? Work's been pretty steady. Um, i always got stuff going on. I kind of pick and choose what I do uh, at this stage in my life. And, I, um, you know, as calls come in, I kind of wean out what I want to do and what I don't want to do at this point. But uh, what I want to talk about on this video is... You know, it's summertime, so I'm going around doing repairing ACs and doing service and stuff like that. And uh, I had said a couple of times on my videos, you know, say say I get a call for no AC. It was working fine, and now it's not working. So I'll go there. A lot of times it'll be something simple, a burnt wire or a cap or something like that. And, uh, you know, I'll get that part of it going and uh, start up the system. And I don't always check the charge. Now, an experienced guy that's been doing this for 30 years or 20 years or something like that, you could tell just by the air coming out and the way the pipes are, how how, how cold the pipes are getting, you know, um, the suction and the liquid line. You could tell if the thing's charged or it's low on charge. And some guys have a hard time wrapping their head around that, that you, you could tell pretty close if the thing needs gas or not. You know, and the guys that have been doing it for 30 years, they know exactly what I'm saying. You've been doing it and you just know you run the system for 10 minutes and you could just tell it if it's if it's running properly or not. And uh, you get these young kids that are sitting home and, you know, and they think they're super techs and they, they don't have a flipping clue. They never they never been out in the field or they are one year in the field and, and they, they think, oh, my God, you got to put the gauges on there to tell if, it, if it's working properly. No, you don't. To get exact pressures and temperatures, yes. But if you're just there because it's got a bad capacitor and the thing's been running fine and the guy never had no issues with nothing, and uh, sometimes I, I won't check check the charge at that point. It depends. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason for what I do. I do what I want to do. I'm not here to please anybody, and I don't really care what people think. I do my, I do me, and you do you. You know, sometimes I'll give the thing a, a complete cleaning. Sometimes I'll check all kinds of stuff. It depends on, you know, what's floating on my boat on a day, if I want to do it or not. And that's just how I am. I've always been that way. I, I usually do what the people need. And, uh, you know, sometimes I will check the charge. Sometimes I won't. It all depends. But. You know, you try to explain these things to these little pissy ass, snotty ass kids that have no flipping clue, and they think they know it. They th they're flipping know it. Oh, I know, I know everything. I'm I'm 16. I'm 18 years old. I know everything. I, I'm a I'm a super tech. Yeah, you ain't you ain't no you don't know shit, guy. You might know how to clean your ears with a Q-tip. That's about it. Or pick your nose. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> you guys miss my vlogs. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, no, but that's it. Um, just gonna do a little vlog, talk about a couple of things. Another another thing I get a lot is I use that Stay Bright Eight, which is um, it's a soft solder for refrigerant lines, and it's actually got more tensile strength or just as much as Sophos. And um, sometimes I use that for the simple reason that I don't have to do nitrogen purge, and it's it's easier. Uh, the Stay Bright Eight is is a is a good um, alternative to the so far and some guys like it some guys don't and I get all kinds of bum hurt people that come across oh my god I can't believe you would use that stuff and on and on and on and on like I said before I'm gonna I do what I want to do how I want to do it and if you don't like it I just don't you don't have to watch I really it doesn't matter to me <laughs> if people like what I do or not it's almost funny at times, some of these comments I get. Usually people come at through and start being nasty and just all kinds of, you know, negative. I just block them guys. So that they, I'll never see their comments again. That's how I usually heal these, deal with the trolls. I always said, don't, don't feed the trolls, you know, and that's how I deal with them. I just block them from the channel and then I'll never see them again. And I get a lot of them that come through. You'd be surprised how many people are negative and nasty and... Uh, just trying to stir trouble and trying to, you know, ruin your day. It's, it's really, it's really, um, an ongoing battle, but it's all good. Another thing that's been going on is, um, 
I had a lot of videos that were stolen from my channel. I, I had like 144 videos that were stolen. And I'm always in the process of going after guys that are trying to steal my, my work. And that's why I put the copyright stuff on all my stuff. Because, um, yeah, I had 140, 44 that had been stolen already. So, it's an ongoing problem. And, uh, but now, YouTube sends you, or sends you, actually, every, every week or so, I, I get a message from YouTube, oh, these four videos from this guy, um, match your videos, go, go check them out, and sure enough, you know, it's all my videos, and this guy from India stole four of my videos, and put his name on there, and, and trying to monetize them, and trying to make a couple of bucks, you know, I mean, it's, it's an, been an ongoing battle since I started YouTube, and, uh, it's, <laughs> but at least YouTube's got it. They're, they're actually notifying me now, uh, every so often. With this guy's got four videos, this guy's got three videos, this guy's got two of yours. Uh, go check it and, and do a copyright thing. So it, it's it's getting better. And uh, years ago it was really bad. I mean, guy would come to take twenty of your videos, and a lot of my subscribers say. Hey, this guy so-and-so's got your videos he's using, and I'd have to go search this guy out because so-and-so told me about it, and I'd have to, it's, it was a big process. Now it's so much easier to go after these guys for the copyright, for, for, stealing, your, for stealing your videos, and uh, so that's a good thing. But yeah, it's been over seven years I've been posting videos on YouTube. It's kind of, it's kind of surreal. I mean, I never got sick of it. I'm still posting. I'm still. I'm still not sick of it. I don't. I don't. I don't really get. I don't really get the concept of why I'm not sick of it. But I just continue to do it. A lot of people ask me about the cooking videos. They want me to bring back the cooking videos, and I didn't get a real lot of hits on them cooking videos. And lately, I've been doing a lot of like salad stuff and stuff that's really not, you know, um, would make a good video for the cooking stuff. So. If I do anything like that, you know, a big meal or something, I'll, I'll, I'll record it because a lot of people do want it. I did cut my hair. I cut it a little shorter than I should, but that's one thing about me is I got a full head of hair. I never lost my hair. I, I can't, I have a hard time, uh, I have a hard time realizing why I'm not going bald or receding or uh, uh, losing my hair. I don't know. Just never have. I've always had a full head of hair. It's kind of odd. I wear a hat all the time to keep the cobwebs out of my hair. Because I'm always down in basements. But before you know it, it's going to start getting cool out. And I'm going to be back doing oil burner videos and, and um, heat and repair videos. Very shortly, it's going to switch over. And I've had a couple of guys complain about, oh my god, a, another air conditioning video. It's like, I just post what I work on. And uh, sometimes it's repetitive. Sometimes it's, it's, it's uh, a lot of times on the air conditioning that it's a bad capacitor or something. Or a burnt wire and something simple. Not always. But I just post what I work on. So, um, it's kind of like reality TV type of thing, a lot of guys say. So, uh, don't get bum hurt. Just continue to watch. There will always be something new coming up. And, uh, you know, it's like reality TV. You don't know what, what the hell is going to happen. It's like my job. I mean, my job is always entertaining and something different. It's always an adventure. I get a call. Whatever it is, I don't know what I'm gonna find. You don't know until you get there and start getting into it and start taking things apart and, and fixing things. Can it be fixed? Sometimes, sometimes it can't. I mean, it's always an adventure. And I never claim to be a super tech or a, a super, uh, a super uh, mechanic. I just do my thing. I've been doing my thing for 38 years now, and I'm gonna continue to do it. You know, and you're not going to please everybody. Everybody, they say about assholes. I mean, you know what they say about opinions. Everybody's got one. And, uh, you know, don't really care what you think. If you don't like what I'm doing, you don't have to watch. I'm going to, I'm not, I, I can never please everybody. I, I, I come to that conclusion a long time ago. I mean, you please like 95% of the people. And then you get the five of these guys that just get bum hurt no matter what you do. I mean, you know, you wipe your ass five times. You should have used, you should have did it eight. Five's not enough. You should have did it eight. Or this other guy says you only, you should do it twice because you're using too much toilet paper. And this other guy says you should use your hand because I'm from India. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> How do you figure it out? Everybody's got a different outlook. <laughs> it's getting flipping nuts. But anyway, just a quick little vlog, and um, 
keep it simple. I always say that to the customer. Keep it simple. Don't try to get things all complicated and get all these these all these crazy systems in your house where you're gonna have all kinds of fun. Keep it simple, stupid. That's my motto. <laughs> That's what I tell people. Keep it simple. <sighs> oh my god, I wanna go in this uh this wall hung high efficiency boiler. I'm gonna save all kinds of money. Yeah, you ain't gonna save shit. You're gonna put that piece of shit little suitcase boiler on your wall. Every year you're gonna come here and take it all apart and clean it. And after 10, 15 years, the thing ain't gonna be worth nothing. It's gonna be junk. And the amount of money that you, you spent on this junk and that you're gonna be wasting, it, it's gonna cost you more. Believe me. You're better off to stay with a regular conventional boiler. You know, old style boiler with a, everybody's got the pots in their truck and this, this little wall hung piece of shit that you're gonna buy. Same thing with the water heaters. Better off with a regular water heater than this little wall hung piece of junk that you're gonna put in there. And the thing ain't gonna last you. It ain't gonna be the same. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> but anyway, you gotta love Steve Lab and his uh his motto. Well, I'm gonna get a lot of, I'm gonna get a lot of hits on this video. <laughs> Have a good day.